correspondence to pages 24 and 25. Product review. Alve stoves. There's the half page advert. They knew I was going to love it. Frontier stove starter pack and stove multi tool. Starter adds bag and eco fuel pack to the stove. When I first saw this at a carp show, I said it was the Arga for the outdoors, a vital need fulfilled. Cooking at a camp out for catapultry. At the big weekend events, it is definitely a win to have the best field kitchen set up. From the age of 12, I went on bird watching trips, sometimes with the RSPB's youth division, the YOC, and sometimes as the excuse for the head of the biology department to get his twitching petrol money paid. I saw snow bunting and grey phalarope. I heard a nightingale. We kids shared tents, the teacher had his own. We would camp in winter time, and on one occasion I recall one sleeping bag inside of another and frost on the ground when waking up. Luckily the loo was indoors. I really loved those trips. Camping gas didn't expand well in the cold, and getting the stove going in the morning was very slow. As we waited for the pathetic little blue flame to get bigger, we could hear literal roaring from Sensei's primus stove and smell bacon before ours even got hot. Van Gogh was the only worthy brand of tent, and Primus with paraffin the only truly excellent stove. I bought a camping magazine because it had a review, Cookers for Campers. It concluded that gas was best, but given all the evidence I disagreed and bought an Optimus 96L backpacker stove in a tin. This has been supplanted by a tiny multi-fuel gas stove head that weighs 45 grams but it is an heirloom appreciating in value rather than long since dumped. I must have read that review 50 times. My ridiculous over-analysis and eventual personal conclusion informed my entire career as a reviewer, many years later and to this day. So all this time later to be reviewing an actual stove resonates with my entire career and before, going back when I was 12 as a consumer. This runs deep for me. That's what it says under that middle picture. I utterly love the Anive Frontier stove, I admit it, and have been wanting one forever. It turned out to be the trendy one at the Bushcraft Show. There was a similar thing on sale for a tiny bit less, but it was square and primitive by comparison feature-wise. So the Frontier stove itself is good value for money. The main body is curved sheet steel, so no corner seems to burn through. Its life will be way longer. You can use it in a tent with a heat mat and a flashing kit to take it through the fabric. One of 12 accessories for extending flues or shielding your tent's walls from the heat. And they also sell, sell stove care kits and eco-fuel, compressed chip logs plus kindling and paraffin-free wood shaving lighters. I use their starter kit and it is idiot proof. Light just four logs and you can get hours of cooking. Also, it can have heat zones. Cook over direct flame heat by removing the lid. Cook on the hot plate with a tureen fry pan or stock pot, just like an arga. I altered the heat under the wild boar bacon and burgers by moving the skillets around. It was a doddle and good fun too. There's a flu kettle, currently not available, but we could revisit when it is and check that out too. Meanwhile, the single criticism was probably the size. I love it, but if you need more space, there is simply the Frontier Plus, which is larger. Above that, Anive also supply big and permanent install stoves for boats, sheds, vans and homes. Oh, one last cool thing. If you can lose it, you can get it as spares. From leg pins to the lid, from flue pipes to the ember tray. A massive thanks to Anive for supporting Slingshot World. We'd love to see you with a shoot. Come along. I'll do you all a more bacon, buddy. And then, on that next page, on the last bit of text, it says, explains what we had in a little list. Anive Frontier Stove, £199. Anive Frontier Stove Spark Arrester, that's the bit on the top, £18. Anive Frontier Stove Bag, £34. Anive Eco Fuel Starter Pack, £7. Total, 258 But right here, all included in the starter pack for £245, saving £13. I hugely recommend you also invest in the multi-tool for £18. And if you want to put it in a tent, you need a 325 quid tent bundle that adds a heat mat, flashing kit and an axe to the starter pack's contents. 
and then up here where to buy an anime starter kit is of course the link which if you hover over it bot there we go chefy factor eight a tad size limited yet offers arga like stovetop and broiling and kettle functions durability made of sheet steel will last for years especially if you paint it every winter fairly for money eight not the cheapest, extras can add up, but the base unit is killer for the money. Features, nine. Door latch, internal flue damper, openable lid, folding legs, Swiss army stove. Safety, nine. Spark arrestor flue top and front ember plate. Add an extra heat mat and it's keen. Overall, 8.6, a truly desirable, versatile, accessory-rich stove that any cook will adore.